Hey guys, Dr. Mike here. From fast food to firearms, it's all about the menus. Kelly? It is all about the menus, Mike. Specifically, the CoinOps 1.2 menus introduced with the 5.12 at Games Legend firmware update. So once you go ahead and update your system with the latest firmware release, you're going to get those CoinOps menus. So go ahead and fire up CoinOps like you would usually. And you'll see there at the bottom right of the screen in really small white letters the words all. You get three menus kind of out of the, the gate. All favorites, which is probably very difficult to read on this screen with the yellow background there. And then finally last played. To go and adjust these, you'll go into bring your at games USB over. And uh, one of the things you want to do first of all is go into your UCE files and take a look. These names are really important. They have to match exactly in the the playlist for it to work, the menu for it to work. And so you're going to want to maybe copy and then move that over and drop off the .uce extension in the file I'll show you here in a second. You're going to want to go ahead and open up the Cox directory. And within the Cox directory, you're going to want to add two directories. One is called playlists and the other one is called playlist underscore art. Playlists will actually contain your playlist. You can create, they create three for you to begin with. There's the all the favorites and the last played. You can add additional ones if you want to. So here you see, there really isn't an all playlist specifically listed here, but you'll see the favorites and the last played. And if you go ahead and open one of those up, you'll see a listing of the games. Again, you're going to want the tile to exactly match. So if you're going to kind of copy and paste from your existing UCEs to build your playlist manually, this is how you would do it. You can also take a look at the last played. I'm not really sure when you would ever edit that. Uh, it is maybe nice to have to go ahead and bring up the last game you played, but that's probably not one you'll ever, ever need to mess with. Now the playlist art directory, there will be nothing in there. It's a directory you created. I went ahead and created some icons. They provided in the write-up for the release the size of that you needed to go with for the files. My experience was that there's still a little bit of distortion even when I followed their instructions, so I'm going to keep working on that. But the, here are the icons that I used. I'm going to make them available to you in the, the write-up underneath this YouTube post. So if you want to go ahead and grab them and use them, you're more than welcome to it. And if you create other playlists and you want me to knock off a couple for you, I'd be more than happy to do that. So, updated my USB. Let's go back into CoinOps and see what it looks like now. So there you see a much more readable menu selection there. There's the all. We'll go ahead and show you all of these. But as I mentioned, there's a slight bit of distortion on these. I'm going to keep playing around, but I do have all of these icons uh, available for you in the write-up of this YouTube video. So there's favorites. And of course, last plate. Now I've had some challenges knowing which buttons to press. There's a little bit of a write-up uh, in, the, in the firmware update that tells you what to do, but... Just in CoinOps in general, there's not a lot documented, so I just wanted to kind of recap for you what you'll need to use here. You'll use the A button to select a game when in CoinOps. Probably everybody knows that already. There is already a nice feature in there. The C button will advance you as you'll see a list, the whole alphabet listed on the le right side of the screen. You can go ahead and click it and advance forward a letter to kind of move through that large list of games pretty quickly. Now you can also hit X and go to the next playlist to toggle between what they create and any new ones that you create. And then finally, Y is the button you hit to actually add it to the favorite so you don't have to manually do it with the USB. You can just have it up in the CoinOps menu, the particular game you want to play. Hit Y, it will add it to your favorites automatically. And then if you didn't know, you can always hit rewind to exit CoinOps and get back to the Legends main screen. So I hope this was helpful. I'm really excited to have these menus. It really it improves the playability of CoinOps in my opinion quite a bit. Thanks for listening.